it's almost a rite of passage to stumble upon Ducky when you're eyeing your first mechanical keyboard purchase. The Taiwan-based brand has been around for a while, and this model is probably one of its most popular releases. This is the Ducky 12SF. It's a pre-built keyboard that changed the game back when it was released. But how does it hold up in 2023? Let's find out. The 12SF can be had at or below $100, depending on where you look. It comes in two colors, black and white. You get the option to choose from the entire Cherry MX line of switches during purchase. My wife got me this white version with the silent red switches. That's probably her way of telling me that my other keyboards are just too noisy. The box this comes in has a cool design with nice pops of color. Inside the box, you'll find some basic instructions, a couple of stickers, a keycap puller, a USB-C cable, and some different keycaps to switch up the looks. Ducky provides different spacebar designs depending on when the model was manufactured. My spacebar was the Year of the Ox edition. Can you guess what year that was? The 12SF case is built from ABS plastic. It's a sleek design with nice touches that make it look visually interesting. The front profile of the keyboard reminds me of that cool stealth ship from the James Bond movie Tomorrow Never Dies. The case feels smooth with just a bit of texture to help with the grip. It also has the Ducky branding on the back and a USB-C port to connect the cable. There are four rubber feet on the bottom of the keyboard and you also get flip up risers with two levels of height adjustment. There's also a cool metal plate with a serial number in the middle and these four dip switches that I've not seen in any other keyboard. I'm not even going to cover these because frankly, I had no use for the switches. The 12SF is quite a light keyboard, weighing only 640 grams. It's a 65% layout, which is my favorite layout option. You get the alpha and number rows with the addition of the arrow keys and a couple of extra function keys. This keyboard only works with a wired connection, so you won't have any Bluetooth or wireless options available. The keycaps are made from double shot PBT material and they feature the secondary layer functions printed on the front. Just take a moment to look at all those possibilities. I don't even know where to start. The printing on the keycaps is crisp, and the keycaps feel nice to the touch. The keycaps are shine true. I don't use RGB much, but if you do, you'll be pleased with the color options and the brightness on this keyboard. The stabilizers are plate mounted, and come in a nice blue housing and gray stem color combination. That's the only good thing I have to say about these stabilizers. They sound and feel rattly, and they didn't seem to come with any lubrication from the factory. The Cherry MX silent red switches felt slightly better. They weren't completely silent, but they felt much quieter than my other switches. They felt smooth to actuate, and they'll do the job for a silent typing or gaming session. I didn't really end up modding this keyboard because of reasons I'll get into later. Here's what it sounds like in stock configuration. So, what are some things I like and dislike about the keyboard? Let's start with the first thing I like, the looks. I love a good looking keyboard and the Ducky 12SF has good looks in spades. It's slim and the stealth ship looking front profile gives it extra brownie points. Besides that, it has to be the onboard functionality. The wealth of functions you have built into the board is mind boggling. Recording macros, switching profiles, RGB controls, media controls, debounce time, and <laughs> the list goes on. All of these without needing to install another piece of software on your computer. You'll have to find and save the shortcuts somewhere you can remember though, because Ducky doesn't give you that documentation in the box. There are a few things I don't particularly like about this keyboard, and the first is the lack of wireless connectivity. That's completely fine if you're only going to be using this on your desk, but it's not ideal if you want to lug around this keyboard in your backpack, which is a shame because the size, weight, and layout would have made this a great portable keyboard. It's also a very difficult keyboard to mod. 
you can usually open up pre-built keyboards and mod them to sound better or feel better. That's not easy to do with the one to SF. The clips that hold the top case in place are super tight and they break easily. I tried getting into the board, but I felt like I was going to snap the clips, so that plan failed. If you are more adventurous than me, I wish you luck. Lastly, the build quality. The keyboard is generally well built, but the plastic on the front lip of the keyboard makes this creaking sound every single time I touch it. It cheapens the whole feel of the board. This could only be an issue on my unit though. Let me know in the comments section if yours has the same sound. So to sum up, what do I think about the Ducky 12SF and should you buy it? This board was a game changer back when it was released in 2019, but the keyboard space has seen a lot of progress since then. If you're looking for a great pre-built below $100, I'd honestly go with another option, such as the Royal Clutch RK61 I reviewed. That keyboard has a similar build quality, but adds in wireless and Bluetooth connectivity for an even cheaper price. But if you want to stay within the Ducky family, they released the One Tree SF last year that improve on a lot of aspects, but it does cost quite a bit more than this version. If you like the looks of the One Two SF and you don't want to spend over $100 on a keyboard, you can still get some great deals on this older model. Sure, it lacks hot swap switches and it's not mod friendly, but if you're looking to give a non-enthusiast their first keyboard that works just out of the box, you can't go much wrong with this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more keyboard content. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.